<laughs> What's up, party people in the place? This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you what's on my mind. And I got some good news, balls. Good news. <laughs> good news. If you are among those who thought that James Gunn, the disgraced and fired director of the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise, if you felt that he was getting a bad deal, I've got some good news for you. It seems that James Gunn might be being rehired. Yes, yes, there are articles that are coming out now that are suggesting that just maybe, maybe Marvel and Disney, they're having a change of mind. They're starting to think about all that beautiful money. And also, the fact that James Gunn is said to be getting offers from other studios. He might take his talents elsewhere. <gasps> oh, no, we can't have that. If I can't have you, they can't have you. They can't have you either. So, I think that Marvel and Disney is starting to rethink their moral stance. <laughs> as only they can. And uh, I have an article here that I'm going to share with you that talks about these uh, developments. Curb your enthusiasm. Where is it? Oh no, that's that's not my phone. This is. See this? Sword of Omens. Give me sight beyond sight. This is from when I took my boy to uh, Marvel Universe Live. Yeah, you see? All the funky, funky lights. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I'm losing focus. Literally. Where's my phone? Yeah. Hold on, guys. Here it is. Okay, anyway, <laughs> like I was saying. Okay, here we go. The uh, article here is on comicbook.com. Comicbook.com. And the headline goes a little something like this. Hit it! Marvel Studios reportedly trying to reinstate James Gunn for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. <laughs> of course they are. <laughs> and it goes on to say, There might be hope yet for Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn to be reinstated as director of the franchise's third film. <gasps> Yay! Following back and forth reporting and rumors, a new bit has surfaced claiming that Disney, Marvel Studios, and James Gunn are having back-channel conversations, which might lead to Gunn returning to his position as director of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Dave Bautista, you are the fucking man. Oh, damn. All right, Gunn was fired on July 20th after tweets from 2008 to 2011, when he was but a child, resurfaced showcasing an inappropriate and insensitive sense of humor at the time. Uh, and it goes on to say, uh, nobody is talking about it, but sources said that back-channel conversations are taking place between Marvel Studios and Disney, Deadline reports. Back-channel conversations. Well, I never heard of that before. I guess I'm not an insider. Back-channel conversations. Okay, sounds kind of underhanded to me, sounds kind of sneaky to me, but, you know, this is what we're talking about here. Sources said that, Marvel, that the Marvel contingent is trying to persuade Disney to explore, explore a compromise that might bring Gunn back into the fold for Guardians 3, something that clearly would be best for the franchise. There's no clash or strong arming here. <laughs> yeah, right. They probably got Joe Pesci in there like, Oh, you motherfucker! I got your head in the vice! <laughs> the latest report on, we on Wednesday claimed the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 was planning to use Gunn's script for the film, which, I, I, by the way, I didn't agree with that. It's like if you fired a man, you fired a man, and you fired everything that he brought to the table. If you're going to use his script, you might as well keep him. That's how I feel about it. To me, that wasn't respectable. If you, if you fire him and keep his script, that's saying theft to me. That's saying stealing to me. You know, unless you go on and put him in the credits and give him his due. And if you're giving him his due, then he still works for you. So, what's the point? Okay, so uh, anyway. <clears throat> 
The latest report on Wednesday claimed that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 was planning to use Gunn's script for the film, which had been completed before his firing. It was said that Gunn remained in high demand throughout Hollywood on the heels of his two Guardians movies becoming box office blockbusters in 2014 and 2017. Studios such as Warner Brothers, the creative force behind DC Comics films, <laughs> there's a gold mine there, are said to be interested in collaborating with Gunn in the future, though legally they have to wait to engage in any true conversations. By the way, Patrick Stewart coming back to Star Trek. Engage. I wonder if he's still going to be saying engage. Um, okay, I'm going off the tracks. Um, in any true conversations until the dust and contracts with Disney completely settle. I'm told it's a discussion that comes in the wake of the whole cast declaring their loyalty to Gunn, whose abrupt exit has put a thriving film franchise in a rocky place, the new Deadline report goes on. One would have to label this 11th hour approach to be a long shot, but the community is talking about it. Whether or not Marvel Studios and Disney ultimately elect to rehire James Gunn as the film's director is to be seen. The cast have voiced their desire to have him back on the franchise, with Drax actor Dave Bautista going as far as saying he would ask to be released from his contract should the movie not use Gunn or his script. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is set for release in 2020, as Barbara Walters would say. Alright, that is the end of that article. So there you have it guys, they're still playing this game of ping pong, you know, using um, James Gunn's uh, shuttlecock, I'm sure, and um, who knows what's going to happen here. But like I said, there's a lot of money on the table, and I'm sure that has a lot to do with what's going on right now. You know, the man was at the top of his game when they fired him. So someone had to say, uh, yeah, sure, we, we're doing the right thing here. You know, but um, you guys know how I feel about this. I feel that it was appropriate you know, to let him go. It doesn't mean that the man had to go to jail. It's, you know, it's so funny, you know, seeing what some of the people came into the comment section saying. And I really, really want to thank everybody who understood what I was saying. Thank you so much. Y'all rock. You know what I mean? Uh, the vast majority of people, like, feel this way. The vast majority of people, they feel um, they agree with what I was saying or they support it or at least they understand it, you know? But you had those few people who, like, went way out in left field somewhere it's like i'm looking all the way out there like how you doing it's like they're out there you know what i mean and they're throwing their accusations at me you're a fascist you're a fascist and and you, you're you you right leaning bastard it's like what it's like on the last video i was wearing a um i was wearing a soilo shirt you know this guy comes on he's like uh it figures the the sexist is wearing the sexist Ethan Van Skyver sexist shirt. It's like, it's a Soilo shirt. How is that sexist? I'm just saying I didn't like the movie. And dude, you have never, ever heard me talk about my political views or my political leanings. So where are you getting this right-leaning, left-leaning, front-leaning, back-leaning, one leg up, one leg down, clap, clap, uh, hopping on one leg bullshit from? It's like, you don't know what I believe because I don't talk about what I believe. I talk about the movie, okay? I talk about how I feel about the movie. That's it. You know, so all the people who come in here arguing with me, listen, dude, all I'm trying to say, and, and I'm not going to explain shit to you. The only thing I'm saying is that there are those people in Hollywood and then there are average everyday people like us. I'd rather not be bickering with average everyday people because we're in our world and they're in their world and they protect themselves in their world. They're always going to be okay. James Gunn was always going to be fine. That's what you don't understand. <laughs> Hollywood worships money, man. You know what I mean? Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. I would have pulled out a dollar bill, y'all, but I ain't got a dollar bill, y'all. Look, I go to work, and I work hard every single day. Hours and hours and hours. And I'm not the only one. It's like most of the people out there that, I, that I'm reaching, that I'm talking to, are average people trying to take care of our families, okay? So it's like, what do I need to be arguing with you for? I am a small YouTube channel, all right? James Gunn and those people who are protecting him are filthy fucking rich. They make their own rules. They're above the law that you and I have to go by, okay? So if I share my uh, opinions about something, that's all it is. It's my opinion about something. I can't be fascist. I don't 
represent any particular uh, uh, branch of the government. I'm just a dude who sits here just taking some time to tell you what's on my mind. Like I say, that's it. I'm not trying to hunt anybody down. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. It's just hilarious to me because people love to take words and twist them all over the place. This one dude is so funny. Uh, you know, speaking of uh, Uncle Ethan, this guy says, are you that hard in your criticism with uh, Ethan when he talks about firing people from the trebuchet? <laughs> what? Okay, listen, I'll make a deal with you, knothead. If you can provide a link for me where you see that there has been a problem in Hollywood with innocent people being fired from trebuchets in Hollywood by big Hollywood producers and directors and, you know, corporate people and all that stuff, I will be glad to take Ethan Van Skyver to task for that, for making light of people who have been uh, fired from trebuchets in Hollywood. <laughs> you know, provide the link. I'll be glad to talk about it, okay? But when I talk about um, pedophilia, you know, and the running problem that is said to be going on in Hollywood with pedophilia, that's a serious thing, man, all right? It's like that's something that we have people talking about, children who have gone through it, who have grown up and are trying to get their story out, you know, who are trying to get believed. And you want me to talk about what another YouTuber is playfully talking about firing people from trebuchets. Dude, what's wrong with you? It's like, do you really want me to think that you're stupid? Is that what you want? It's like, I don't want to think that you're stupid. I don't want to be going under the assumption that somebody is watching my videos and they're just fucking stupid, you know what I mean? But when you say stuff like that, dude, you're making me think that you're fucking stupid, okay? It's like, please, stick to the argument, stick to the presentation, stick to my words, what I'm trying to say, okay? All I'm talking about is the problem of pedophilia in Hollywood and those who enable it, those who look the other way, and when you get, a something, when you get something like this that happens, it deserves a closer look, okay? That's all I'm talking about. And then the last one, I was talking about James Gunn getting some help. This dude, he, another dude, he comes on, uh, you know, it figures, you know, alt-right guy, you know, can't tell the difference between a joke and what's serious. I said in a damn video, man, I said it was a joke. He was joking. I said it wasn't a funny joke. It was a sick joke. And he should get help to try to figure out why he would make these sick jokes. Jokes, jokes, jokes. Okay, I said they were jokes. So it's just, it's amazing because you can say all the right words, you can spell it out, you can use sign language, and just like roaches, these people will still come creeping in and try to make what they want out of it. You know, that's the funny thing about it. And they can't even do it respectfully. You know, you can disagree with anything. All I ask if you're doing it on my channel is you do it respectfully. But uh, anyway, guys, um, there you have it. You know, I just went off on a little uh, rant there. But, uh, the, there it is, the possibility that James Gunn will return to Guardians. Now, I didn't think that he would be returning to Guardians, but I knew that he was going to be okay in Hollywood. You know what I mean? Because fucking that's, that's what goes on. You know what I mean? All they do is protect each other. And, you know, you could just tell the writing was on the wall. I mean, they even had David Hasselhoff come out to uh, support this guy. The Hoff, man. The Hoff. Made me almost reconsider my position on this. The Hoff? Shit, man. If... if William Shatner comes out to support him, it's all over. I'm, I'm shutting up. You know what I mean? But anyway, I guess we'll see what develops from all of this. And I just wanted to update on you. I just wanted to update you on this. And um, I guess that's it for now. I'll catch you on the next one. This is The Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on. Ow!